today we'll be taking a look at CPU behavior and comparing 12 low profile coolers using the 7800X3D. Let's start with the system specs used for testing. All testing was carried out on an open test bench, kindly provided by our friends at Streetcom. Here's a rundown of the 7800X3D CPU specs provided by AMD. Now let's take a look at stock 7800X3D CPU performance and behaviour in Cinebench R23 using a 240mm EIO for a baseline. CPU thermals were recorded over a 30 minute all core stress test. Up next we have average all core CPU frequency and package power. Zen 4 CPUs are poorly optimised out of the box in my opinion, so let's take a look at some optimised power limits and PBO curve optimizer settings for the 7800X3D. For those using an Asus motherboard you can set the CPU PPT to 75 and a negative 20 curve offset in AI Tweaker. And for those not we'll need to use AMD overclocking settings shown to achieve the same results. Here we have another visual representation of the 7800X3D's behaviour, this time running optimised settings but still cooled by a 240mm EIO. I've compared 12 low profile coolers and included a few additional coolers for reference. Please feel free to let me know if there are any other coolers you'd like to see tested in the comments. I'd like to note that this data should be used as guidance only and as always make of it what you will and your mileage may vary. It's also worth mentioning that anything below the EXP90 X53 full black will most certainly lose multi-core performance in hotbox environments like the Valka 3 or Valka 7, however this shouldn't affect gaming. Quick channel update before closing out the video, sorry I've not posted in a while but I've not been idle and hopefully I'm able to share the builds I've been working on with you soon. Thank you all for watching and as always I'll catch you in the next one.